Journeyman is commonly used to describe basketballers who travel far and wide to play the game. Tonight, Matthew Young Muo tells his story to Lockie Reid about the pathway and pitfalls he's encountered on his way to settling in Perth. Plus, see how his mother will see him play for the first time this weekend. I was born and raised in Sudan, lived there for 11 years. I have a family of 10, four brothers and six sisters, single mother. And so the story begins, a wildcat's wild life, surrounded by civil war, regular attacks from the militia and a mother's mission to escape. We live in a two or three bedroom houses that didn't have windows and didn't have fence, anything like that. Thank God my mom got us out of there. The first stop for freedom, migrating to Egypt for two years before Sydney became the land of hope. Nah, I didn't speak English at all. My first day going to school, getting on the bus, I've been asked, so do you have a ticket? I don't know what the heck what do you mean by you have a ticket for the bus and all that stuff. It was really hard. I was, all I did is nod my head. Basketball, also foreign, fitting in, needing some courage. I was walking around the neighbourhood and I came across a park. They had fence and kids were playing basketball. In Sudan, you can't go with other people's property. You never know what's going to happen. So I saw the fence, so I was afraid to go hop over the fence and go play basketball. So what I did, I just sat out, outside the fence. Second, I did the same thing and sat there and watched. A guy came, pulled a car over, jumped over the fence and went and played. I was like, oh, I, you can do that? So I creeped in the park, got in and sat down. Was afraid, thinking that somebody gonna come after me, say, get out, you can't be here. Sat down and then some of the guys asked me to come and play basketball. The round ball, Muo's closest friend, and taking him to new parts of the world, but this time with a big smile on his face. He earned a basketball scholarship in the US and finally a job back in Oz. The guard signed by the Wildcats, but on day two of training. I didn't know what happened until the doctor told me I slapped my Achilles and it was like, wow. Another challenge, year out of the game, nothing he wasn't used to. His trials and tribulations far from over. The club delivering more bad news at the start of this season, Axe from the playing roster. That was really hard. That was harder than the Achilles snap. His teammates in awe of his resilience, the man they call Youngie turned up the very next day to train. He received reward for effort when he got a call up to cover the injured Greg Heyer. Last Sunday, a breakout performance. The Red Army showing their appreciation, but he still has some work to do to impress his protector, his brave mum. When I first started playing basketball, she never wanted me to play basketball. There was time where I took a year off because she didn't want me to play at all. I was doing a little bit bad at school, but she did not want me to play. Maybe this Sunday in Sydney, all that will change. I told her how I'm playing in Sydney on this weekend. Can you come? She's like, oh, okay. That's all she said. Lockie Reed, 10 Eyewitness News.